Okay, in this video I'm going to go over um, uh, these questions. So we've got um, a thoroughly shuffled deck. Assume that the deck is shuffled after a card is returned to the deck. So the first question is, if you put the first card back in the deck before you draw the next, what is the probability that the first card is a 10 and the second card is a jack? Okay, so we're going to assume no jokers, so a deck of 52, okay, 52 cards. Uh, it would be nice if they said that, but they didn't. Um, so we're going to choose two cards, and then here's the key. If you put the first card back in the deck before you draw the next, that's the key there, right? So drawing one card, what's the probability that the first card is a 10 and the second is a jack? Hmm. The first card is a 10. Remember there are four 10s in a deck. In in the deck of 52. So the first probability of getting a 10 and a jack, right? Using the product formula because these are independent events because we uh, um, it's probability of getting a 10 times probability of getting a jack, right? Probably getting a 10 is 4 out of 52. And there are also 4 jacks out of a deck of 52. So that's also 4 out of 52, right? And in each case, we can cross cancel. Or 4 into 4 goes once. 4 into 52 goes once into 5 and 1 over. And 4 into 12 goes 3 times. See that? 4 into 4 goes once. 4 into 5 goes once. Remainder 1. 4 into 12 goes 3 times. So we have 1 over 13 times 1 over 13, which is 1 times 1 is 1. 13 times itself is 169. So that's the probability of getting a 10 and then a jack. Okay, I guess I'll do uh, 32 in this same video then. Why not? So if you did not put the first card back in the deck before you draw the next, what is the probability the first card is a 10 and the second card is a jack? So this time it's a little different because, um, uh, where should I do this? Okay, I'll do it here, I guess. So probability of 10 and then jack this time, probability of 10 times the probability of the jack. Now the probability is a different. The ten is the, is the same because you, you start with a deck of fifty two. It's all shuffled, right? And you draw a card. I drew it. Oh, I drew exactly like that. But it's supposed to, maybe it might. You're seeing if you can get a ten the first time, right? Um, four out of fifty two. Now the trick here is look. If you do not put the first card back, if you do not put the first card back, now the next. Now we have a deck of fifty one. Right, because I, I drew a card, right, and let's say I drew a, a 10 or whatever, right? So let's say I drew a 10, pretend that's a 10, I drew that. Now what's the probability of me getting a jack, right? There's only 51 cards, by the way, they were shuffled in between, right? They were shuffling them here, shuffled, right? What's the probability of getting a jack? It is, well, there's three, there's four jacks in here, right? And so that's the probability, right? And so again, cross cancel, that's 13. And we get um, 4 over 13 times 51. Uh, calculator, where to put it? Six six three. Okay, so that's the probability this time. And by the way, 4 over 663 is about, um, oh, I, compared to 1 over 169, right? So let's compare those. So so 1 over 169 is about um, 0 0.0059. So it's about 0.59% chance. And 4 over uh, 663 is about... Um, move the decimal point over two spots 
it's about 0.6% chance. Okay, so when you put the card when, when you put the card back, there was less chance of getting a jack because the next time you're 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 choosing out of 52, right? When you did not put the the card back in or the 10, then the next time you chose you had actually more of a chance of getting the jack because it was only 51 cards to choose from instead of 52 and so your probability of getting a 10 and jack was a little bit higher when you did not replace when you did not replace the card right that's a little bit lower when you do replace the card right